have an unusual name, Grady Nut. It really is my name. Uh, you have to learn to get along with that because when people meet you, they never say pleased to meet you. They always go. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had to endure some chuckling and giggling and poking and all that kind of stuff. I tease about the fact that I grew up at the Nut House and now run one. <laughs> but it really was a fun name. So consequently, I've always listened to unusual names. The most unusual name I've ever heard belongs to a minister in the North American Christian Convention. Now, this is a group somewhere between the Disciples of Christ on the left and the Church of Christ on the right. And if you know anything about those two groups, you know that between them, there is room. <laughs> See, the Church of Christ does not believe in playing the organ or the piano in the church. In fact, they have metal detectors at the doors. <laughs> they'll check, just be sure you don't sneak in a harmonica or something. So they'll do you this. So those people are not going to have it in the church. They don't even often blow a pitch pipe and give you a true F sharp, you know. They just let you hurt yourself hunting for it. See, they don't believe in this stuff. Now, the disciples of Christ, they play anything you can roll in and plug up. They don't care. They'll wham, ding, bam, let's go, you know. Between them is the North American Christian Convention. They do play the organ and the piano, <laughs> but they're nervous. <laughs> Their organist keeps her tennis shoes tied at all times. <laughs> One of the ministers in this group served churches in Alabama, Indiana, uh, Iowa, and last I heard of him, he was in Michigan, except recently he did perform a wedding in North Carolina, and somebody sent me a clipping from the Charlotte newspaper with his name circled in red, knowing that I love fun names. Well, I'd been telling about this man for years. Now, he has, I think, the worst name you could hope to have. I really believe this. It's, it's wonderful. His last name is O-D-O-R, Odor. <laughs> now, I thought for a long time it was O-D-E-R. I tried to help him out all I could. See, we put another T on nut for the sake of the family. And I thought they could at least put an E in odor for his sake. But that's not true. I met his brother and his nephew, and it's O-D-O-R, odor. We're talking, you know, <coughs> you know, odor, like downwind from something you don't like. It's that kind of deal. Now, if your last name was Odor and your first name was Marvin, you'd still be in trouble, see, because people are going to hear Odor and go, <laughs> you, you've had it. It's hard to get respect when you got a name like Odor. And that would be bad enough. But his first name makes it even worse. I-V-A-N. Ivan Odor. <laughs> I'm not making that up. That's exactly true. Now you think about this. He's a minister, and his denomination calls the minister brother. Okay, now you just get this all in one pile of putty and think with me. <laughs> what if you came up and just introduced yourself and said, brother, I have an odor. <laughs> and what if the other guy said, brother, you really do. 